You leave my man. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Are they now? Not for long. I've heard about these murders. These are difficult times indeed, when men stalk their brethren like beasts. My men are stretched thin as it is. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. Perfect. Let's go examine the crime scene. We know the price. I'm a little tired, I might miss some things. Who am I kidding? I know exactly where to look. Just gotta follow the little blood trail here. Oh my god, blood. Oh my god, blood. Oh my god, blood. Blood. Oh my god, more blood. More blood. Oh my god. There's more blood. It seems as if the murderer went into this house. Maybe I should tell Yorleaf. And then go get some sleep, because, you know. I'm dying of tiredness. Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, sorry for that little random intro, I forgot myself. Where is he? And what would you have me do? Today we are, of course, playing some more Skyrim. The last episode we did a little bit of mooching around Windhelm, and we managed to start the Blood on the Ice quest. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. How do I get into Hiram? Frigga Shattershield's old place? It's been abandoned ever since she was killed. I think her mother, Tova, has the key. Cool. So I'll speak to the, uh, the mother of a dead woman to see if I can get into her house. That, um... Doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Start this war in earnest, then. Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did Dead King Torrid. Torrid was murdered. I like the way he refers to um, the previously High King Torrig is Dead King Torrig. With regards to the uh, the Civil War, by the way, oh, we'll go in here and we'll get some sleep. Yeah, with regards to the Civil War in this, I'm really unsure which side we'll um, we'll pick up. I made my got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Uh, what have we got for seal? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. You got some uh, some pies? You do? Grand. A salmon steak, we'll take those too. And a salt pile. Lovely. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Nice sleep till the late morning. And we'll get our bearings. Okay, we're gonna need some food. Not too much though, by the looks of it. Salmon steak would bury that. Okay, so we've got to go speak to Tova. Uh, let's have a little look at our quest log here. Blood on the ice. Okay, so Tova is in her house by the looks of it. With any luck, we'll be able to get straight in. Now, I only ever activate all of the quest markers when I'm playing on survival mode. And if I was playing this just for myself, I would probably just activate them um, you know, as and when I was leaving the city. But for the sake of time, you guys don't want to see me going through 100 quests every time I, what can I do for you, go into my quest log. I've been a bit out of sorts since, since our daughter was taken from us. I'm so sorry for your loss, but I've got some questions about your loss. I'm sorry. She was very dear to me, and it's rather painful to think about. I'd rather not talk about my daughter, if you'll excuse me. I understand. You know, I wouldn't want to either, but unfortunately I have authority in this manner. 
and I need your cooperation, otherwise you're going to prison. Well, all right. What exactly do you need to know? I'd like to investigate her house, but I'll need the key. It's not underwear related at all. Yerim? Well, I'm not sure what you think you'll find there, but you're welcome to have a look. You're not supposed to be in here. Am I not? You let me in. Right, let's go have a look at this creepy house. We're in. Ooh. Look at this place. Look at that. Oh, some pots. These haven't been used for ages. Nothing but skeever droppings and cobwebs. Be careful. You. See that Janassa casts a shadow and I don't? Like a fucking vampire. Investigate the chest. From the marks on the floor, it looks like this box was pushed against the wall recently. Butcher's journal. The plans are coming together swimmingly. I found good sources of bone, flesh and blood, but thus far a good sampling of seen you and marrow have escaped me. No matter. The city is swollen with contemptuous fools who will be missed by nobody. Last night was also... Last night was almost able to corner Susanna as she left Candlehearth. Idiot guard showed up just at the wrong moment and had to turn about. Just out for a stroll and so forth. There will be other chances, but the time is drawing near. I think back to my time in Winterhold. All the wasted minds up in their towers. They only explore the magic they already know. I'm discovering new magic here. Something deeper than the cantripped shenanigans of fire and light. This flesh magic is older than us, perhaps older than the world itself. I am tugging at the corners of the fabric of the universe, and where it bunches and folds is where I shall create my greatest triumph. One more attempt at the candle hearth girl. She's proving to be a bit too cautious, but those strong joints of hers should contain the most exquisite tendons worth the effort tonight. So that's recent. Beware the butcher. Someone's been taking down those signs by the looks of it. Investigate the mead from the dust. These look left over from when the previous occupant moved out. Investigate the wardrobe. There's money. Two things I need to investigate of great value here. One, of course, is the small shelf and the strange amulet. This one will be the, the same Janasse. Fuck. To have met you. Move. Lead on then. This wardrobe seems to be nailed to the wall for some reason. Wow. What a mess. Dust everywhere. Look at that. Along the skirting boards. Pathetic. <sighs> Linen wrap? I don't think I need that for anything. Oh, an altar. This altar is built to some unknown magic. It looks like someone is using body parts towards some gruesome end. As we've just read, someone is using flesh magic. 17 tendons and assorted ligaments, 173 fragments of bone for assemblage, approximately 4 buckets full of blood, Nord preferred, 6 spoons of marrow, no more than 2 from a thigh, 12 yards of flesh before cutting, star scrying to the edge of the ice mind, look to the lights where the souls dance, revealing the time when a spark will revive, when the rotted unites under the most skillful hands. Translation from Ultima text as interpreted by the Iliads and first transcribed by Ultima. Provenance and authority unknown. Soon. Well, Calix... Uh, did I... Sorry, I didn't mean to accuse anyone. Uh, it looks like our our murderer is undergoing some necromantic ritual. Not going to bring someone back by the looks of it. 
Anything else to investigate here? Empty rooms. Some beds. The chair is stacked on the bed in an odd fashion. I don't think that's relevant. Okay, we're good to go. Now let's go have a chat with Yorleaf about, about our findings. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from some. Shoo. The Shoo. putting a great deal of pressure you've got a, on the white run. You got a fly cursor hovering over your head. If the stormcloaks are us, finding victory across the land. Do you know what this amulet is? I've never seen anything How like it. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. Might even give you a bit of gold for it. Okay. Can you tell me anything about the butcher? Ugh. Have you been talking to Viola Giordano? She posts those all over the city, and someone keeps taking them down. Ask her about it if you want an ear for it. I mean, you've got people being killed, and then someone talking about the butcher, but you you sort of treating it as if it doesn't exist. So travel safely. It's dangerous out there. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. Viola. I actually want to sell this amulet to Calixto. I'm sure we'll get it back. You're next. Let's go to Calixto's House of Curiosities. I'm, I've heard Isgrimor's soup spoon is just the best thing since sliced bread. He must be on lunch. Huh. I'll give it an hour. Nah. Oh, that's bullshit. I need to speak to him. Fuel is heading down. Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. Let's not speak about that ring right now. Um, what can you tell me about the butcher? I've been following him for months now. Well, not actually following. Trying to find him. The guards won't help. The people won't help. I'm the only one who thinks he can be caught. Why can't the guards help? They say they're too busy with the war. I say, what good is winning a war if we're still terrorized by one of our own? I found this journal in the Killer's Lear. Huh? What's it say? Sounds like the court mage has been experimenting to me. Woundfirth. There have been rumors, but he's a dangerous man. That's why they call him the Unliving. I wouldn't approach him directly. This information needs to go straight to the steward. He'll approach him directly, you see. Hmm. That sounds like a good idea. Once I've spoken to Calixto. The prick. Where is he at? Let me in. Why are you not open? It's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Is it like an evening thing? Horses all day long. Okay. I'm going to give you till tea time. Do you have any idea how dull There he is. If you've got some time, stop by my house of curiosities. I promise you'll see wonders. What's curious is that the door's fucking locked, mate. I've been trying to get in for hours. Do you know anything about this amulet? 
Let me see. Ah, yes. This is the wheelstone. It's an heirloom symbol of the power of Windhelm. Traditionally, it's carried by the court mage. I would uh, be interested in acquiring it, if you're willing to part with it, that is. For a piece like that, I could pay 500 gold. You have yourself a deal, sir. Wonderful. This will be a splendid addition to my private collection. There we are. 500 quid made. Let's go speak to this fucking mage, eh? Now I remember. Be careful. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. Golly, I'm just gonna go um Couriers from Solitude. Just gonna go accuse someone. Putting a great deal of pressure on the white. Won't be long. Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. <clears throat> I've heard you dabble in necromancy. I beg your pardon? You heard me? Necromancy. I am a member of the College of Winterhold. In good standing. They haven't allowed necromancy for hundreds of years. Here's my plot hole. So they haven't allowed necromancy for hundreds of years and he's a member of the College of Winterhold. However, if you speak to Finnis, he says that Necromancy is allowed on college grounds. Pretty sure. Okay. I found your journals and amulet where the butcher worked. My what now? I've never kept a journal, I can assure you. What exactly did this amulet look like? Eight sided, jeered, ringed with ebony, a worn carving you know all too well. I know it well. Let's Hardly see. Heard of it. I would wager that carving once depicted a skull. That is the necromancer's amulet of legend. It appears you were at least half right. There is necromancy at the heart of this. Jacques. Okay. I guess Calixto was wrong. Yeah. Calixto and his books are often confused about such matters. It happens to the best of us. He must be innocent because the game's not letting me accuse him any further. So what can we do now? I've been noting a pattern to when the killings happen. Now that we know they're tied in to some sort of necromantic ritual, I think I know when the next might occur. Let's see. From a Lordus of Last Seed until a Midas of Hearthfire. It will happen soon. Very soon. Keep watch in the Stone Quarter tomorrow night. That's almost certainly where the killer will strike next. I shall take your word for it. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. <laughs> You're so funny. Move. Janassa, we talked about this. Okay, so we gotta go stand around in the cold. Let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. And wait for a killer who may or may not appear. It's easy as tomorrow night, but it can also be tonight. And Calixto is going to come and attack me. There he is. That's a quick save just in case he kicks my ass. I'll be sure to stress your urgency. Like every farmer in Skyrim is short of supplies. There it is. Someone do something. 
He's out. Oh, baby. Let's take a look at you. Increases your Majiga by 130 points. Shit the bed. Reanimated or summoned undead. Deal 50% more attack damage and regenerate health. Increases undead summon limit by one. Health and stamina regenerate 75% slower. Oh, man. Okay. That's real interesting. I mean, 130 points of magic is not to be sniffed at. Hmm. However, that is very specifically necromancy orientated. Which does, of course, require a dead body first. Now, I've never actually been a necromancer in this game fully. I wonder the possibilities. I thought it might have been a, like a conjuration reduction. That would have been super nice. You're welcome, everyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just go, go, go about your biz. Is that so? If the guards would listen to Viola... They just caught the butcher by this Hmm, let's go speak to Yorleaf then. Cause I believe the uh, the vanilla enchantment on that amulet is conjuration spells are like twenty five percent less um cost. But I guess the mod's done a good job of making it more about being a, a necromancer. Come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from solitude. The Empire's the Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Kalixtor Corium was the butcher. Ismir's beard. The man was always a bit odd, but I wouldn't have expected. You've done the city a mighty service, friend. I believe you'll find the guards to be a bit more cordial with you in the future. Thanks. Alright, the problem with that amulet... The real problem with it... The Majiga is a nice touch. The reanimated or summoned undead is irrelevant for us right now. Um, The undead limit, again, irrelevant for us right now. The health and stamina regen at 75% slower. That's not good. Not for us. The stamina regen, just for general... Uh, travel, to be honest, isn't great. Making his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more problem. I could look into it, I guess. Let's uh, let's take a look at the necromancy side of things. Where are you? Okay, so we've got necromancy there. Summoned and raised undead last twice as long. Summon. Is twenty five percent longer? Okay. Raised undead are created with one hundred and fifty percent extra attack speed and one hundred percent extra movement speed. It feeds over sixty seconds. Grand Kundra can reanimate, banish, or command targets up to fifteen levels higher. That's cool. So that raises the uh, the level cap on like dead thralls and whatnot. Blood Zombie. Summoned and raised undead absorb 10 points of health per second from opponents in melee range. This could be really powerful. You know, I'm thinking the uh, the Ritual Stone. Plus uh, things like this. Undead raised with Dread Zombie or Dead Thrall. Get bonus health, magic and stamina based on their level. And you can give them items. You know, that's uh, that's that's huge. That really changes the name of the game with regards to necromancy. You can summon or raise an additional minion. I mean, that, coupled with the necromancer amulets, means I can have potentially three dead thralls. Um, and then the ritual stone on top of that, where I just sort of spam um, EOE. It is food for thought. But we've done our job there. And get ourselves back into this uh, this inn. We can sleep easy now. There's no murder on the streets. 
I do need to remind myself to check Calixto's house just in case there's a greater soul gem. Just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives. Is my bed still here? Hey, look at that. Okay, so we go uh, 12 hours. We'll go check Calixto's. And, um, yeah, maybe we'll mooch down towards Riften. That'll be a real big journey. But there might be some interesting stuff down there to do. Salmon steak, apple pie. Let's have a look. The Book of Fate. Completely empty. Why is it steel if he's dead and I have the key? Who am I stealing from exactly? I bet, you know, just given how wonky Skyrim is anyway, if I was to steal any of this shit, I'd probably end up um, with hired thugs from Calixto. I love this. He's Grimoire's soup spoon. <laughs> and it's a fork. Tremendous. Tremendous. The, uh, the dancer's flute. I think that's paying some homage to um, the Pied Piper. Alright, now let's see here. We can't do that. Um, we're not going to do that. Don't think we're going to pop up there just yet. East March Geyser. No, we don't need to do that. Find Ruin's Edge. That might be really interesting, actually. We could probably pop in there. Ruin's Edge is one of the Creation Club bows. And it does a random effect on hit. Now, we only have a shitty little fucking Imperial bow so far. So this could give us the edge um, as far as archery goes. So I think we'll probably do that, to be honest. We'll go find Ruin's Edge. Let's... Uh Let's get rid of the other quest so that we don't get distracted. I think it's literally just called Ruin's Edge. The Edge of Ruin. There it is. Cool. Um, make sure all the shit's off. There we go. Okay. Uh, we need our horse, though, to get there in good time. So I'm going to have to go back to the dock. And hopefully not freeze while I ride my horse across the water. I don't think you actually take cold damage. If you ride your horse across the water. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, I'm just going to activate. Jump off. I could give arms to the beggar. Who is. Horse clipped. Through a wall. Need something. Instead of alms, I will pray for your prosperity. I understand. All right then. Meet Tyra at the shrine west of Windhelm. I'm okay, thanks. Okay, let's do this. Hey. -hey. 
no elemental damage to me. Booyah. Okay, I think we'll pass by Kynes Grove just to get the, uh, the marker. At a later date, what I'll probably do, as we sink a little further into alchemy as well, I'll probably do this run from Windhelm to Riften on foot and grab as much creep cluster as I can. It would help if you sprint. That would be nice. There you go. There we go. Great stuff. Nice foggy deer. Okay, we'll go nice and slow by the giant. Save our stamina in case he comes to attack us. Ah, oh, they're drinking, having a good time. The giant's not bothered about them. Maybe they uh, slipped him some booze. Not really bothered about that wolf. He can suck a fat one. Steam crag camp. I wonder. Yeah, there's nothing really good here. I thought there might have been something half decent to uh Janassa took care of him. That's cool. Anything in the bag? Oh, there we go. That'll do. Any food? I'll eat the cabbage. Don't know how long it's been there for, but I'll eat it. You know? What on earth? Right, let's get up to this fucking cave. Yeah, I've not passed it yet, but the marker seems to the north. Ah! Oh, more wolves. Hey, that's just what I want. Here we go, we're getting somewhere. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. I'm going to go ahead real quick. Get both, all of this thrown down. Uh. Bone wolves. A novice novice Kundra. Let's get another Atronach down and get our bow up. Oh, 
Hold up. Hmm, nah, that's crap. Oh, are you then? Uh, where's the horse? Oh, there's my horse. Thanks for all of the help, Janassa. That was, was real fun. Oh! Oh, it's not even a skill book. So that's not where we need to be. Oh, there's a fucking saber cat there as well. That's no good at all. Um, let's see if we can kill this before we jump on our horse. Um, we just needed a pot shot. Get its attention, I guess. Over there somewhere. There it is. Yep. We're over here, big guy. Here he is. Got him. Eyes and teeth. Okay, let's get this fucking cave. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, I'm sure this map's taking the piss out of me. It is. It is taking the piss out of me. Look, that's where I need to be. Why? Okay, that's that. That's enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a manual custom destination. This is uh, this is beyond a joke. I knew it. I knew I was heading in the right direction to start with, and then the the marker was being dodgy. I'll let the followers deal with them. Just a quick check here also. Yeah, it looks like everything's steered the way it was, that's good. Settings gameplay, we are still on adept, that's good. If at any time it seems like things are getting too easy in the game, um, the difficulty slider is not going to change, <laughs> more than likely, because more difficult things will come. Um, the way that the game is leveled is things like vampires and werewolves and things um, are just much harder to deal with now. Come on, get that Skyrim horse logic up. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. We're up. Come on. Come on. Nope. We'll clip through the mountain if we can't go over it. The Imperial camp. This is where we need to be. This rings a bell. I can't, act I can't get off my horse here. Get off of here. The 
The water's freezing and it's killing me. Killing me softly. In Britain. Okay. Can you see the uh, quick see of this? Just see what they're made of, real quick. Let's conjure this. Uh, the Matronach. He'll set fire to things. Get out of my way, Janessa. That's it. Take that money. Now we are risking quite a bit here tell you what I don't like it let's not do this I need to get the flames on the go let's get these guys back here because I don't want them getting caught up in the uh, in the trap the flame matter knock's not too bad I don't really care about that There it is. Oh shit. Oh. That was real close. Go, 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 go. Jesus. Okay. So that bandit priest <laughs> is a ludicrously high level. <laughs> There's one guy down. Let's try this again. Let's get the um let's get flames fucking short key, shall we? There we go. Janassa, please. And it should be taken care of. Quick. Okay, now quick save. What can I do against this guy? We need this. Oh, we got paralysis poison? That would have been... Nice. Instead, I think it's going to have to be the frostbite venom. Oh, that's two. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. She got him. Treasure map 10. Um, so what was that, Debella? I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'll take it, but fuck knows. Okay, Mystery of Talara. That's an alteration book. Lingering poison. Unusual gem, fire salt. I'll just drop the uh, drop that shite. On the plate. Let's see what's in here. Finn's loot. Nice. Oh, very nice. We can sell that for a decent, uh, pretty penny. We'll leave the shield. Okay. To the final room. Quick save. Don't want to have to do that again. Click the wrong... Uh, Wrong stick for sneak mode. Okay, it's a bandit chief. We're gonna need slow. So we get the um, poison of slow on him. Let's get up here. Ah. Ah. Okay. Let's take a pause. Let's talk about this. Let's heal some health. Never a bad thing. A little bit of Magica, a little bit of stamina. I'm gonna use one of these. And I'm gonna use this menu, like a pussy, to try and get my conjuration out. We'll probably go for Frostbite as a backup. Oh. No, no. No. One down. Okay. Ooh. Ah. No! <laughs> I should have bobbed and weaved more. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, this is going to be a problem. How are we going to do this? A quick save here. So I don't have to do all that fucking walking again. I could potentially try and stay hidden and just keep popping out the conjuration. Like that. Could potentially just try and fucking get down here. I've lured one out. Made quick work of that. 
what we'll do is we'll quickly pop on the potion slow poison slow even okay so that's him poisoned let's get our magic sorted we need that in our left we need uh, flames in our right Oh no man, stuck in this fucking corridor. I should have flanked him, I should have went straight past. Yeah, let's try that again. Oh, helps if my uh, my health is fucking high as well, that would be swell. Ideas it won't let me fucking conjure anything. Run? Why wouldn't it sprint? <laughs> oh my fucking god! This stupid fucking game. I don't know whether it's the controller or the game. There's Janassa being a prick. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Let's just go ahead and. Get some healing in so I don't get one shot immediately, which I probably will do anyway. Um, we're going to need the bow on. I'm just going to go for the um, the linger. Linger and poison this time. Crossbite venom, maybe. See, that's bullshit there. Couldn't see anything. Ah! Nah! 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 Nope. Okay. You get the rest of all. Get the healing out this time. Let's drag it out. Okay. We need that back. I need that oak flesh up. ASAP. We need the Majiga back. I'm going to have to go for the Necromancer's amulet here. Uh, get some food in me, please. I'm well fed. That's it, Janassa. That's it. That's it. Get right back there, please. Right, we're in. Got him. <laughs> Ruin's Edge. 23 damage. Not bad at all. Look at that ugly bastard. That's going to be decent. Randomly applies one of these effects to the target. Frost. Demoralize. Frenzy. Drain Magicka. Or Paralyze. That is super fucking handy. Take those Dwarven Arrows as well. 100%. Spigot. For tapping kegs, <laughs> we're all right. Um, let's just eat all the cheese. Thank you, Janassa. Your timely revival really helped. You, hey, yeah. Let's let's take a look at the comparison. So we've got an imperial bow, which is seventeen damage. You've got Ruin's Edge, which is 23. The Imperial Bow weighs 8. Ruin's Edge weighs 7, which means it's going to have a faster draw speed. Bear in mind that that higher damage 
with a faster draw speed, but the Imperial bow is pretty low down in the in the tier of um, of bows, so the 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 weight has an effect on the draw speed. So it's actually a light bow compared to some of the higher end stuff. We'll drop that anyway. I'm favourite that. Look at that. That's a. Uh, that's a good bow to have for someone of this character type. We're summoning things from different planes. Oh, a bliss bug in a jar. I have never seen that before. That's part of the. Um, I think it's part of this DLC, this um, creation club, but you can get more um, bugs in jars from the base game. And there's other bugs in jars from the um, Saints and Seducers creation club content. Oh, I'm thrilled we've got this. Absolutely thrilled. I'll eat that. I'll take those. Oh, we need to take that amulet back off. It's uh, it's preventing me from regening at all. That's cool. Okay, next I think we just basically head towards Riften. We're already halfway there. And we might as well just complete the trip, get down to Riften. Um, in the next episode, we'll probably join the Thieves Guild um, and see what benefits we can get from there. So, thank you guys for watching. My name is Brian. This is Botched Up Games. And remember, can't beat them, botch them. Take care. <laughs>